Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormack and welcome to the channel. It's Tuesday, so it's Lightroom Tuesday. This is just a very short one. We're going to talk about something new in Lightroom 7.3 that we didn't cover in the last video. Hey folks, just something very short that I thought I should mention because I think it deserves a mention. It's one of the changes that was kind of a subtle one. It was literally just a change of a couple of numbers and well, actually one number to be precise, but it's a two digit number. So let's jump in and have a look at the new defaults in Lightroom for sharpening. Okay. So I'm just going to zoom out here for a second. So here I have an image that I have shot uh, since Lightroom 7.3 was put on the machine. And in this case here, let me just go to develop altogether. The first reaction that I have when I see this image is that these areas here, the areas of focus are actually really, really, really sharp and um, like sharper than I've ever been before. So that's shot at f2.8. And so the in focus areas are very, very sharp. This one here is shot at f4.5. Okay, now it'll take a second to actually come into focus. But when we zoom in, which is where you really see sharpening, these areas that are in focus are actually really, really, really sharp, which is really, really cool. These were handheld, so I would, that's why I shot them at 4.5 instead of going for a larger aperture like f11 or f16. And then again, another handheld one, um, which was shot at f8, so it has more depth of field in it. And again, we zoom in here and click a second just to load, and there we go, boom, super, super sharp. These are Fuji files, and people give out about sharpening uh, of Lightroom, that, or that the Lightroom does for Fuji files. These look great. And so what's the difference? Well, the difference is that the Lightroom default has now changed. It used to be 25, but now it's 40. And this has made a massive, massive difference to the apparent sharpening of the files. I love it. I think it's really, really great. When I am deliberately sharpening, I'd probably be sharpening to at least 40 and if not more. And one other thing that I would do sometimes is hold down the Alt or Option key and grab masking and pull it across so that we're not sharpening everything but we're just sharpening more defined edges, okay? So that's just really, and there's loads of high frequency in it there. So areas where it was just tone rather than edges, they're not being sharpened. So I think that will improve it a little bit. So I'm actually delighted with this change. Now, you may not be delighted with this change. If you're not delighted with the change, it's pretty straightforward what you need to do. What you need to do is you need to come into sharpening. I'm just gonna reset masking there for a second by double clicking. You need to come over here Set that to 25 and you come up here to your develop menu, go new preset and you go sharpen 25. Uh, you ch click check none so that these are all off. Okay. And you turn on sharpening, click create. And then without any cards ready to go, you can just go to import photos and video. And that will basically open up the import dialog, which will take a second or two. And because we don't have a card in, it'll actually go to the add section here. So it'll be in add and you can just go develop settings. So you can enter user presets and go sharpen 25. And now every time you import that will set it back to sharp, the sharpening 25. Now I don't want anything on presets. So I'm just going to, or any import presets. So I'm just going to cancel that there. And so folks, that's how you can sort that if you're not happy with it. I don't know why you're not happy with it because it's fantastic. All right, folks, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and of course, if you're not subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Subscribe. We have videos about Lightroom on Tuesdays and just general photo videos on Friday. So hit the notification bell if you are subscribed, just so you get notified when new videos come online. Thanks for taking the time to watch this. And I'll see you on Friday for a photo Friday.